you that was the dumbest thing you could have done. What the fuck, man? If it bleeds, we can kill it. Hey everyone! Hi. This is Grave Cinema here again for another reaction video. I've pretty much seen all the movies, however, my roommate has not. Nothing! It'll be a very first time reaction for her. So, the one we'll be doing today will be... Predator! Oh, okay! I know you've seen Alien vs. Predator, but you've never seen the original Correct. Predator. I have not. They have the cool spears though. They have a lot of cool things, but this is going to be the very first movie that the Predator appeared in. Ooh. And it is quite good, I will say. I really enjoyed this one. It was a favorite of mine and my dad to watch together growing up, and I think mm. you may enjoy this one just a little bit. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, well, let's get to it then, okay? Yeah. All right. And Raven will be adorable, and she won her ball in the corner. She will. She's so fucking cute. Okay. All right, let's, let's go. go. 20th century fucks you. Mm. Can't help it. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Bam! <laughs> Predator. Mm. And it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Oh. Yes. I did not know that. His name just appeared on the screen, but you well, were looking I at me. Well, I was looking at you, yeah. See so. the things you miss when you look at me. I mean, at least the view doesn't lessen. That's true. Look, it is a spaceship. Spaceship. Here we go. Here we go. This is all. I, this is all also like the most macho film I ever see. Oh boy. But it's fun. Okay. I'll take your word for it. You know better than I. Look, it's the future governor of Minnesota. Minnesota. Jesse Ventura, he became the governor of Minnesota. Oh, really? Yep. Ex uh, pro huh. wrestler as well. And look, it's the future governor of California. Two future governors in this movie. So why don't you use the regular army? What do you need us for? Because some damn fool accused you of being the best. Dylan! You son of a bitch. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Huh? Is that who I think it is? Who do you think it is? Head it up. Looks like Theodore Huxtable. Like no. <laughs> Looks okay, familiar okay, though. Okay. You've seen Happy Gilmore. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, forget about it. Chubbs! Look at you go before you get to up there. I lost your hand to a gator. Simple setup. One day operation. We pick up their trailer, the chopper, run them down, grab those hostages, and bounce back across the border before anybody knows we were there. I'm going in with you, Dutch. I feel like you're gonna die. Once we cross that border, we're on our own. <laughs> this is getting better, better minutes. And I said, you know, I'd like a little pussy. She said, me too. Mine's as big as a house. Well, you see, she she wanted a little one, but hers was as big as a house. Yeah, baby. Okay. He tried. He did. It's cute how he's trying to learn how to joke. Is he carrying a flamethrower? What is that? <laughs> You'll find out. I have no doubt, but it looks like a flamethrower. Now I'm disappointed that it's not. I'm not disappointed. Okay. Because I know what it is. One of their choppers? One that was there before they came. I'm gonna try to figure out who's this. Took him out with a heat seeker. Heat seeker, Dylan. That's pretty sophisticated for a bunch of half ass mountain boys. Roger. I guess they're getting better equipped every day. Six men wearing US issued army boots. They came in from the north and then they followed the guerrillas. Probably just another rebel patrol. They operate there all the time. You're lying. Definitely seems like he's hiding something. I'm getting 
guessing this isn't about anyone who got kidnapped. This is about the thing that fell from space. Bailey senses something. He's their tracker. Yeah, he's hearing birds flap. <laughs> They're fighting over some dead stuff. Like, actually fighting. <laughs> it's not usual for vultures. Yeah. Hey, don't kick the vulture, it's just hungry. I knew this man. Green Berets out of Fort Bragg. Now what the hell were they doing here? I don't know, Dutch. This is inhuman. What happened here, Billy? Strange, Major. There was a firefight. They were shooting in all directions. Can't believe that Jim Harper walked into an ambush. I don't believe he did. I can't find a single track. It just doesn't make sense. Payback time. Not a flamethrower. Tommy gun. Mini gun. Right. Tommy gun would be smaller. High rate of fire. Like a Gatling gun, essentially. Yes, I think that's what I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. They're being watched. Guessing he was normally a pencil pusher. He might have been a field soldier back in the day, but obviously he's promoted to pencil pushing. Pencil pushing, yep. Guessing that was the hostage he was supposed to say. One of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Showtime, kid. Then he hit the field depot. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, of course, Negan, but we gotta have explosions. Indeed. Of course, you're doing all that and you don't even know where the hostages are kept. Target's the center of the Palapa! They may know. That would tear a person in half. Those rocket launchers are really handy. Indeed. Why spray and pray when you can just hit them with something bigger? <laughs> So I'm guessing this is to show us a successful mission. It's to show their skill. Yeah. They are predators themselves. Worthy. Which means that that predator is going to see them as a worthy target. Essentially, yep. That's how I see this whole setup. Yeah. Stick around. <laughs> Hostages are inside. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. You got time to duck? The tech. You sell some. It's all bullshit. All of it. You're an asset. An expendable asset. And I used you to get the job done. Got it? You're gonna regret that later. I may not look expendable. And I don't do this kind of look. This is your baggage. You fall behind and you're on your own. You just got lucky. Those are the dangerous ones, too. Uh-huh. The smaller and lighter they are, the worse they are. Billy! Crunch. Billy! I said to her, Jace, you got a big pussy. Jace, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? And I said I didn't. Because there was an echo. Because of the echo. Well, he gets all the jokes, he's just keeping a straight face, man. <laughs> he's gonna be the first to die.
He senses something. That's why he's gonna be the first to die. He's the most dangerous because he's the only one that senses something. Got the nails, claws. Well, yeah, it's a predator. Mm -hmm. He's Native American. Yes. Vibes. Shoot her. She's a liability right now. What the? Please. Please. film does leave quite a bit of ambiguity about what the intentions are. It's not a why it's good. It lets you try to figure out the answers on your own. It does just tell you. It's all that's left to you, friend. Did you find Hawkins? I... I can't tell. Well, that's a sentence. Why didn't she escape? Oh. What? They did the same thing to Jim Hopper. That's a python. It's that big boy. It's not gonna hurt you. Most likely not. Rockets. <laughs> Stripped him of his clothes really fast. Pokemon? He just got hit. Plasma. Laser weapon. Oh, he took out the big gun. Shoot it! down the trees now. Some type of technique laying down a massive amount of suppressive fire. Spray and pray. Pretty much, yeah. If they see their man shooting in that direction, they follow suit. And He's out, of ammo. out for the minigun. No powder drones. No shrapnel. What the hell could have done this to a man? Mac. Mac, look at me. Who did this? We have nothing. Blue stick blood. Major, I set up flares, rags, and claymores. Nothing's coming near this place without tripping on something. Mac, he was a good soldier. He was, uh, my 
Looks like a gear turn. Yeah, I suppose. They can't risk coming in after us. Yeah, that's just Spend the blasts. It comes with the job. Sergeant! Who get us today? I don't know. I always saw one of them camouflage. Those eyes disappeared. What was that? Those eyes then. They disappeared. Nothing on this earth could have lived. Not at that range. Got above them. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. We're all gonna die. Well. That's losing. It's losing is cool. There's nothing but a couple of guys running around out there. We've got to take them down. Whatever it is out there, we killed Hopper. And now it wants us. He's got revenge in his mind. Oh. Let's work! The hell are you? Over here! Over here! Over here! Jesus. Got you, motherfucker. You killed a pig. Oh, you're right. What the? Do you think you could have found something bigger? Yeah, fuck you, Doctor. <laughs> fuck you! I mean, those things can be quite dangerous, so. Wayne's body. Go. Came in through the triple wires. Took it right out from under our noses. The hog was a distraction. It's a fair assessment. Now why did we try and kill him once? Came to get the body. He's killing us one at a time. Like a hunter. Had to get his trophy. He's using the trees. Yesterday. What did you see? You're wasting your time. No more games. I don't know what it was. Ah. Uh, the thing is hunting us. All of us. You know that. What do you think you're doing? We make a stand now, or there will be nobody left to go to the chopper. You must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. You really think this Boy Scout bullshit's gonna work? You can see our tripwires. Maybe you can't see this. I show off the muscles. Macho. Big guns and big muscles. Why are you shaving? Grooming is necessary. Shit! Shoot. Get to the chopper. <laughs> You've heard of that. <laughs> oh, it's every, what everybody makes fun of them with. You busted up pretty bad, Major. The oh. ribs are fucked up. Oh. Over here. Is it starting to learn their speech patterns? Over here. I was analyzing the voices earlier. Down there, daughter. I'm all 
of your fucking arm, homie. Why would you look towards the fucking laser? You That was the dumbest thing you could have done. What the fuck, man? You are supposed to be intelligent. You got baited into a trap. You deserved a better death than that. I was afraid we were getting a stealth kill. Don't! Leave it! He didn't kill you because you weren't armed. No sport. He's dead, boo. He goes. Schwarzenegger. You got the gun. Get to the chopper! There you go. Yeah, the gun took most of that shot. It's just him now, though. He's our hero. He's our final girl. He's our final dude? Essentially, though, but he acts as the final girl. Like, this started as an action movie, but it just turned into a slasher. Where the slash are slowly killing them all off one by one. And this is our last punch. Yeah! Very smart the way they did this. We Nope, that's deep. Oh, no, we got lucky. We made it. Your face in the mud. Thank you. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. helping to hide his heat. Yep. I can't see him because of the mud. It's blocking his body heat. playing field. Oh, 
each other. Just yank that right out of there. Oh yeah. Got a field dressing. That was his skull. I wonder what happened to the girl. She went to go get to the chopper. But great. Like, did she make it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arnold showed them muscles. Isn't that half the point of having him in this movie? Pretty much. He's got him. Nice. He made himself a longbow. He doesn't have the gun, but he still has the power. That's a good way to protect you from mosquitoes. <laughs> Time to put on his face mask. Hmm. Yes, here goes your skin too. Oh! Calling you out, motherfucker. <laughs> zone for him. He's like, well, that's Shit. close. <laughs> Your reposition. I am a tree. Bad plan! I wouldn't go in there. Trapped animal is the most dangerous kind and it's dark! I can really see the white in them eyes. You can see some of the outline there. Confusion. 
What? He's impressed by him. Um, peaceful adversary? He has a strong respect for him, so he's gonna make it a fair fight. Taking off his plasma gun. It's uncloaked. Doesn't have his blade on him. Gonna take off his eyes. Heat seeking is taking it away. Great design. Bad idea. Stick your hand in his mouth and rip them jaws open. Take out the eyes. Just get hit. Rat punched out. Nothing, he's just got the crap punched out of him, he's crawling for safety. Hurt. He's leading him towards his kill zone he set up. He's trapped. Do it! Come on, come on! Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Come on, kill me, I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Get it! Oh. But he's under the counterweight. Bam! Got him with that Boy Scout shit. Well, was it enough? Don't rest. He's not dead. Not quite. Mm, but he's close to it. Let's kill him. What the hell are you? Oh, that's a homing signal, isn't it? What else does it sound like? That is definitely a countdown. Oh, the evil laugh that goes with it. Of course it's a countdown, but it sounded like a homing beacon. Oh, I can't believe it. It's the job. What? He's like, I've been through some shit. But of course he makes it, because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger and he has to. He's her final girl. She made it. Yeah. She got to the job. I wonder what happens to her after. Looks like he's dead. He's, uh, processing. Or not, as the case may be. He's taking some time to not move. He's in shock. He also had the crap kicked out of him. Hey, we have the face credits. Yeah, the end of the movie. Yeah. yeah, the credits. Okay, so that was Predator. It was her first time watching it, and what are our thoughts? I am disappointed I did not see the spear thing that was in Alien vs. Predator. Which I loved. Um, Most likely because 
this was just the first film and they developed more of the mythology and the technology over subsequent sequels. But for the first time... For the first time, it was really good. It, it was a good setup to this new yeah. creature, this new uh, cinematic um, monster, yeah. so to speak. Um, I think it's definitely a good villain. It's one that isn't going to talk to you. It isn't going to be reasoned with. It has to be treated like an animal with the mind of a human, but He's not advanced. Dumb. No, no, he's a way advanced species. Alien species. With the technology they have, but they have a simple... Which is still very animalistic. Animalistic in the sense that they're a predator, but they have much better technology than just, you know, animal predators. Like, right. they are hunters. They want to find worthy prey yeah. in order to get their trophies. There's a lot of, of mythology that's been built up around the... these particular alien creatures. Do you creatures. know the Doctor Who villain that's also the friend in the one thing leading up to the war doctor that looks like a potato? I think so. It's been a while. He's the one that talks about eating popcorn as destroying your enemies with the crunchy kernels of corn. <laughs> anyway, the whole species, I can't remember the name of, is based on dying in battle and fighting constantly, but they can Suntarans? be- Suntarans? Yes! Okay. That's the name of it. Look at you the go. The Suntarans. I like- I caught up. Um... Yeah. Well, you're but I can see that. They're very much a, a but, warrior species. Yeah, but they talk yeah. more. And they look like potatoes. Yeah, and I can start Human checking out potatoes. the Klingons, that warrior species. This is much more, not strictly warrior, but hunter. That's like their whole uh, society based around the hunt for the prey, to seek out worthy prey. I'm very curious if on their home planet, do they hunt each other? Or do they still hunt prey? Like, they Do they see might. humans as a subspecies and therefore... Um, uh, uh, prey in their own kind is not prey? There's been subsequent sequels, so they may go over that in depth a bit more. There's also a lot of supporting stories, comics, books and such that go more into um, these creatures and their society as well. So, But just based on what we see in the first film, they leave it a bit ambiguous and they let you decide well, yeah, they have what to. they were going for. And I like the film does that because it doesn't tell you what's going on. It lets you fill in the blanks yourself. It doesn't treat you with um, an infant mentality. It expects you to know or to figure some things out along the way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I do like how they never ended up having to deal with the other gorillas. I feel like that would have been too much in the story and it needed to just boil down to this predator thing. It might have already been dead. Predator could have killed have. them. That's entirely probable. It wasn't needed at all. Right. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, well, they didn't bring that back. Or in. they killed them all <laughs> when they blew up the whole camp. They could have done that too. Thought they might have been Oh, more. no, no. They said there was backup on the way and that's why they had to get the fuck out. Okay. Remember? All that's right. why they had a GTFO because they had um, backup that was going to be there in about a half hour. Hmm. Okay. Remember, that's why they didn't take all the papers, and they took well, this girl instead. Yeah. Well, then they, uh... So... Guess they weren't needed for the plot at that point, so... Well, they weren't, but they could have still brought them in as extra added bullshit. And I'm glad that they chose not to. I feel like the focus needed to be it on It was. This. It was good focus. They kept it tight. Um, they knew opening of this first act, it's all going to be action. General action movie. But then, after that, once that first kill goes, it's straight up slasher type movie where I mean it's a slasher hunted. but it's not it's it still has the action movie it still vibe. has the action vibe it, it's kind of like as I know I've, I've compared this before but it's Jurassic Parky oh okay in the sense of it's an action movie but it's also a horror film because you're gonna see people killed in horrible ways like you do in Jurassic Park yes because that is technically considered a horror mm -hmm. film with the way people are eaten alive in front of you one thing I wish I could have seen, though, was the fight with Billy, but, you know, I guess they had pacing, they had to keep it going, so, and they knew he wasn't going to survive anyway, so. The big fight was reserved for Arnold at the end there. Yeah, he had to earn his respect. I, Billy wanted the fight that Arnold was given, and the Predator, I guess, didn't respect him well enough. Although I do think he respected him somewhat. He did, because I believe part of the lore is he'll take the skulls of those he has a respect for and feels was a worthy opponent after 
he killed them. That's why he took the skulls of a few of them. And if you ran away, then he, um, he would skin you. Or something like that. And that's why you saw some of them hanging up, because they were deemed unworthy of being trophies. Part of the lore um, that I've read about. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Curious as to how he dried those skulls so fast. That's well, some type of technology. Uh, oh, you see more of it in the sequel, I, I remember, of how he actually cleans it. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you can see why um, this got eventual movie of them facing the aliens. Because it's a great concept to see two big badass aliens going at it. Like, oh, well, yeah, it's big like alien xenomorph. Jason, yeah, but not. Yeah, big alien xenomorph is scary, but what if a predator fought? So it's always those fun little questions. And they're both owned by the I same studio. So I thought that yeah. Alien vs. Predator was brilliant for that exact reason, but I loved how the predator was essentially the hunters of the aliens. Mm hmm. They hunt anything. I know, yeah. but. It's interesting how the the aliens are set up to be the prey animal there. You see more in the sequel to this on what they are and what they've hunted before, and it's really cool. The, the sequel to this is actually a really good sequel. It's rare a lot in some movies, but this one had, a, I think, a sequel that was just as good. So we'll get to that one, too. Okay? And you'll get more of your questions you may have answered in that one. Okay. Okay. I do like lore and mythos of certain things. It's always intriguing to see, is that you have to consider this a different culture, how they do things and why they do it. It's cute to see him, you know, pet his skulls. He's like, oh, my new trophy. You're so pretty. I will add you to my collection. I wonder if, like, on the planet, if they have, like, whole rooms or buildings made of skulls. Oh, I have no doubt. They have... To show off their trophies. That's, like, their probably status symbol. Look at all my trophies, bitch. This is my wall of skulls. This is my throne of skulls. This is skulls. my catacomb of skulls. <laughs> Why would they need a catacomb? We'll just display that shit in the dining room. They have so many, they have a catacomb worth full of skulls. All of the walls, even the door is made of skulls. <laughs> skulls everywhere. We could have that, but we rent. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, yeah, this was uh, Predator, one of Arnold's more well-known movies. A great one, classic. Yeah, one of my favorites watching with my dad growing up too just because it's so awesome oh why am i yawning so much i'm not even that sleepy oh body knock it off body just hates you body hates me anyway um yeah i can see why you guys liked it growing up i can see why it's a good action movie i think i could have even tolerated this as a kid um it's not too intense it's got more suspense and then more of the um Intrigue. I still know what is this? What's going on? You know, you still jump a little bit here and there. A little bit. I mean, there were times it was warranted, mm -hmm. but it wasn't too terrible. Um, it just makes me want to never really go to South America ever. I don't really have a a desire to get anywhere that I could get trapped in a jungle with anything. I mean, like those, even that wild boar that attacked the one guy, which I think was set on him by the predator. I, you can still get mauled to death by those. And worse, it's not gonna South be- South America in the jungle or death. any jungle area is gonna have some creatures there, not just and predators. Don't even get me started on the spiders. Yeah, um, we all know you have a thing about spiders. But even there, like, there's so many things that inside the jungle there that we don't even know about because they're in the far off reaches of it. Like, I don't, I don't need to know. I'm not an archeologist. I'm not a, oh, what's the thing that Bones was? An anthropologist. Hmm. I don't need to study other cultures. I don't need to accidentally find another culture, whether it be friendly or not so friendly. I'm good. I'm good. I may someday go to the Bahamas. Okay. But one we would be interested in uh, definitely seeing the sequel to it. Yes, absolutely. I'd even be up for a rewatch of AVP because I haven't watched it since my early teens. Um, well, we can probably get to that too after we finish stuff. I think all the first movies of the classics will probably just at that point pick one series, go through the rest. Pick yeah. another, go through the rest. I think that's a good idea. You know, but um, you know, it takes time to do all this, so... And there's so many to watch, so many things to watch, and there's gonna be more. Like, we're gonna be doing so much more, 
and we can't wait to show you more. Yes. Yes, so. So I think that's about everything, don't you? Yep, just about. We can talk more when we see more. Talk more, see more, do more. <laughs> uh, but for what Other we saw, things. we did love this one. I loved it. She apparently it was good, yeah. gives it a thumb up. Yeah, Absolutely. A thumb up, yeah, okay. And we hope you enjoyed this reaction video. It's my Emmy Rates first time seeing it. And um, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Maybe I won't be yawning. I swear I'm not tired. It's weird. She swears she's not tired. Anyway. Till anyway, next till time. next time. See you then.